Good afternoon, everybody. It is 2-11 and... Uh, August, August 25th. I'm following Roberto here and I'm in the Dodge wheel lift. Roberto's in his 50 ton and uh, we're going to be pulling up here to a 2018 Freightliner Cascadia. Um, now Roberto has never hooked up a 2018 Freightliner Cascadia and as you will see when we get here it is way different than just hooking up a normal say a Peterbilt or a Kenworth or something like that. So I'm going to show Roberto how to do it. I'm sure he could figure it out no problem but just to be on the safe side uh, we're, we're, I'm going to show him how to do it. Um, if you don't do it right, you have the potential to blow out the oil pan and all of that. So, um, we're just gonna go from there. We'll check it out here, but, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, sit behind the truck, provide a little bit of, uh, extra safety here. He is right on that white line, so not the best spot. Um, so hopefully we get drivers moving over here for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit up like that. Park. The flashers are right here. Okay, so. This guy's gonna move over for us, it looks like. I grab my coveralls and a pair of gloves. So, how you doing? As you can see, how low it is, it's like four inches off the ground. How you doing? Good. So what's wrong with your truck? I don't know, maybe power loose. Just no, it doesn't run at all? No. Okay. See how, see how low it is? Yeah, I see It's crazy, that. huh? All right, so let's go ahead and get your underlift down and we need to back you up as close as we can to that bumper. And then we're gonna run your boom out to the cables and we're gonna lift uh, off the eyelets. Yeah, yeah, good point. I got it on video, so we're good there. Safest place for you to stay in your truck. Oh. It's, I mean, we're kind of in a bad spot right now, so I don't want to, just in case something happens. Oh. So I'd probably stay in your truck and I'll, I'll come and get you if I need you, all right? Yo, yeah, come back.
see if we can work the controls from here. So when you're doing it like this, they're free, they're free, huh? they're free. So when, when you're doing it like this, remember that your boom isn't independent from your underlift. So you're gonna have to use cable to lift the tractor and tilt, you know what I mean? Like you can't just boom up because the boom's gonna go with it and the oil pan sits really low on this thing. Brakes are set, correct? Uh, yeah, the brakes set. Okay. Alright, so you're just gonna wanna lift it. Uh, even with the weight that he has, it's okay to lift it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's minimal weight to lift, really. Especially for your truck. See how your, uh, your underlift is touching a little bit. Because we're going to put tall forks, because look at, look at the oil pan. I mean, actually, this one's not too bad. The oil pan on this one's not too bad. It's the bumper that we got to worry about. So we're going to do taller forks. Okay. So let's get a, like a medium tall. Okay, be careful. And uh, the, like the thinnest, the thinnest ones that you have, like the shorter. Do you have any uh, like that are narrower? These are the smallest, thinnest ones. I don't know if there's some sure. over here. Let me check. They should. If not, we'll make it work. But oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's do these right here, right? I mean, we could we could do these ones just to gain the extra clearance while it's up. Let's let's do these ones. This one? Well, let's yeah. This these one? are fine because we got we got on the tall side for the the receivers. Yeah. They're on the tall side. I'll just put those over here on this side. Too. Okay. And if we need to go higher, we'll go higher. Careful, don't stand there. That's fine. Watch your leg. Yeah, higher. Okay. So you also got to be careful with this remote. I don't like using it, but we don't really have an option because the pass the controls are blocked. But you got to make sure that you're on the setting because the you, your lift and cable are on the same, you know, button. So now you can't boom up to get to the axle like you normally you would. You have to cable it. down. Dropping in.
actually uh, tilt up a little bit to reach it, to meet it. Yeah. And then now, boom up. Boom up. And let out the cables. So now it's ours. Uh, almost. Yeah, they cleared it off. Yep. So we'll put we'll have to tilt. Tilt up. Yep. There's that one. Okay. Might as well leave these here and we'll do safety chains on these. Uh Let's just make sure these uh, forks are going to work. I'm going to boom in. Squeaky. Need some grease on that bad boy. We just greased it too. Okay, let's uh, keep those to the side for a second. Watch out. Let's tilt up. Boom up. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get these. So when I go to get it down, I gotta do the same thing. Same right? thing. Uh, I'm gonna run the cables in. Like 99% sure this is an automatic, which what's the rule on automatic, right? Ah, what's the rule on the automatic? Right, right, yeah, yeah. Especially Freightliner, Freightliner and Volvo. All right, we'll tilt up here. All right, let's see if it's an automatic. Is it automatic? Yeah. Okay. Probably what? Yeah, that looks pretty easy. I'm gonna put the safety chains on now. Yeah, that's fine. Do what you gotta do. Um, let's do that, and then we will um, have him hold his foot on the brake and release the brakes. We'll bring it closer to us once we get the drive line out. So I'm just gonna flip these four, uh, these these up. All right. So just make sure you get these when you drop in Fontana. But we'll just use these for our safety chains while we have them. I'm gonna figure out what size that drive line is. Yeah, what? Huh? I'll find you in the least. Okay. Well, oh, because you yeah, I need to come down so I can get that, you know, so I can hook it and then come up to get the tension on this. It's not gonna reach right down there. Okay. Here. You have the remote. Do what you gotta do. Just be careful with this bumper and the oil pan and everything, but you, you can do what you gotta do. Just do boom though, don't do tilt. Not yet, at least. Let's try a 12 millimeter, wherever it's hiding. This truck is like brand new, so the driveline bolts are painted. So at first glance, you would think a half inch doesn't fit, but it does if you hammer it on. I should have everything on that tray. Yeah, I got it. I just, is there a hammer in there? 
Huh? Was there a hammer in there? No. Okay. That's all I need. Did you get that? Uh, the. Where do you hide a hammer? Surprising enough, has tension with the brakes set. All right, so let's just use a socket to hammer it on there. So we're going half in, hammer. Driveline's not under tension. I was thinking that it would be since the brakes are set, but it's not. So I'll pull that off and then we'll have them release it. All right, that should be good. What was that, tilt? No, no. Okay, that's fine. Quarter inch socket here with no ratchet for it. I usually use that breaker bar here. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's use that. Okay. Here. Oh, it's already got a half on it? Just to break it. Yeah. More leverage there. Isn't it? So, I mean, I mean, you obviously know, but sometimes you would th yeah, usually it's un it's under tension when the brakes set, but in this yeah. case it isn't for whatever reason. So just got lucky, I guess. That's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes when you have the half inch. I mean, when you have an automatic that you can't move. Tight. All right. While you do that, I'm gonna get your light bar and stuff like that, just miscellaneous stuff. What do you use for a brake line, Roberto? What's that? What do you use for a brake line? That line right there? Or no, I have to stay the other one. It's longer. Okay, just tell me where it is. Is it hanging on your door or? Uh, no, it's right up on that second door right there. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Is there a glad hand on it? No. Dangerous. 
Bucks over there. Did or didn't? I did not. Okay. It's got two big tanks of smoke. Line's gonna go this way. So set it right there for now. the not so fun part of the job. Always have a head on the swivel. Swivel. It's the name of the game. This truck here. It's almost better to work on the driver's side though because you know exactly what's coming. Most of the time. Wait for a clearing before I turn my back to the traffic.
How you coming, Roberto? I'm working on the last boat. Huh? Taking out the last boat. Okay. You got uh, your driveline strap? What's that? You got your driveline strap? Yeah. Right. Okay. All we gotta do is put air to it, suck it in, put the safety chains on, I already pulled them out, and then, uh, should be good. Oh, I didn't look. I can look. Okay. Here, hand me that bolt when you have a chance. Alright. Make sure that thing's still not under tension. Shake it. Okay. Almost done. I think you're just gonna have to tap the air tank. I don't see any fittings. Where's uh, where's your tank at? Huh? huh? Where's your air tank at? Well, there's three. Okay. There's a small one here. Uh huh. And two. Last time. Where are they? At? I hit one that I went through every single one, but. Well, I I wouldn't do that tiny one. It says trans on it too. I don't know what that means, but I don't think that's it. One of the other two. More than likely. They all have little plugs on the bottom. You got a crescent wrench in there? Something, I don't know. 916s? Yeah. Well, no, a 916s won't work in this case. Because it's got the little. She got a crescent wrench? No. No? Oh, yeah. You sure? The, the, Thought I saw one. In the, yeah, in the tray, yeah. 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 CHP's here. I don't, it looks like he's just gonna pull people over. Though. Do you have a 916 wrench? A 916 wrench? Like a wrench? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. 13, 12, and like a little bit. 14. I just can't get a good bite. 916 socket I got. Yeah, it won't, it won't fit on that. Huh? I'm gonna... I'm gonna drain this. What his gauges look like? Ah. Can you tell me your air gauge temperature? Can you tell me your air gauge uh, pressures, please? Huh? Both of them? 
See if we can get it off. We also need a snare an fitting. Okay, go ahead and ask them what their pressures are right now. And then we'll uh, see if which tank this is. You want me to pass the hole? Yeah, eventually. Let's, uh, let's see what pressure we're at. Both tanks? Both of them still at 100, he said. That's bizarre. Yeah, that's what happened with that other one I told you that I took to collect it. You want me to look under the hood to see if uh... No. Well, oh, these enough. cross between each other. Yeah, they, they, okay, they... let's. Let's just, uh, let's put the hose to it. Here, take these wrenches. I took those out of your trays. Plug it in. Okay, what's our pressures at? They come up at all? Huh? Okay, that's fine. All right, do me a favor. Hold your foot on the brake. Go ahead and do it now. And then, uh, all right, foot on the brake. Release all your brakes. So push them both in. Now, just hold that. Now push your red and yellow in. And now, now let off slowly on the brake. Just, Perfect. All right, now just let it go. All right, you can just take your foot off. All right, cool. All right, we're gonna be ready to go here in like five minutes. If you guys wanna get your stuff, get out, and uh, we'll be good. Roberto, I'm gonna come in, all right? Hey? Oh, okay. Okay.
Where are they going? Okay. Watch out, guys. I'm going to come forward with it. Tell them to watch out. There you go. All wheels rolling. Well, anytime I suck that in, I got to pull. In this case, it didn't yeah. do it. But. All right. Now we'll put some tilt in it. Yeah, I was going to say it didn't tighten up earlier one not. Yeah. You're they're real yeah, tight now. Actually, it might be a little too tight. So you want me to go to the leaf springs with the safety? Let's just go, go right here, and then we'll bungee. on both sides. but the opposite way. Same spot right there? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Looks good to me. All right, what do you think? Comfortable? Good? Watch yourself back there. Yeah, you got lights, brakes, air. I put the light bar. Drive lines pulled. Got the bolts in here. Call me if you got any questions, but you're gonna have to repeat that same process. No, I mean pretty much. Basically, you're gonna run your run it out. You're gonna run it out, and you're gonna lift it off of your forks. But I gotta turn these around first. Yes, but you're gonna lift it off of your forks. All right. Make sure your brake's set when you do that, and roll away on you. All right. Yeah. You good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. All right, I'm gonna run up to the uh, rest area there and uh, put that drone up in there. Get a shot of you going back. All right. Be safe. Um, make sure, you, is your red in? It should be, yeah, because all that's working here. All right, cool. Take it easy. Right. Later. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Roberto, I don't know if anyone's told you, but a habit of mine is when I get down the road to hit my service, my trolley valve, to make sure I got brakes back there. I don't know if you, that's something you do, but that's something before I do. Before I pull off? Well, not before you pull off, but like get going 40, 50 miles an hour and pull your, your brake a little bit, the handle valve. To see if it'll slow, it's slow and it And make sure you got brakes. If you don't, then something's wrong. Okay. All right. All right. Everything's latched up. Hopefully you enjoyed that. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Now you guys know how to tow a 2018 Freightliner Cascadia. 
Um, and with that being said, stay tuned for the drone footage. I'm gonna run up here to the rest area and uh, get a drive-by shot. So, thanks guys.